Hello, hey, ladies. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, dude! That, oh, hold on! I gotta take my glasses off. That made me dizzy. <laughs> please, please keep it. Please I keep am. It. I I'm going right into it, bro. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to NBLT. This was not our fifth time trying to get this to work. <laughs> It's good to have everyone. It's me, it's me, it's SFC, and I'm here with Enrique and Cecilia. What up, everyone? We finally got Big C here. Oh, my God. Oh, can I just kick this off and just say I'm very proud of the TikTok uh, code of conduct and disciplinary actions. I'm just very, very proud of it. There was a big bully that got blocked and banned, and I'm real happy about it. It's oh. me. I'm the fucking problem, right? It's yeah, me, yeah. Austin. Yeah, it was me the whole time. Why don't you go ahead yeah, and tell me what you did, see? <laughs> what you did? Sounds I was like you did. Live supporting you, and I don't know what happened. Are you I mean, supporting me or supporting my enemies? My no, enemies. Enemies. Enemy of my friend is my friend. The dude's been on TikTok for a month, and he thinks he's seasoned. Hey. Yeah, fucking one by that TikTok, bro. It's season, huh? I don't even know what fucking season is, my guy. You I'm didn't just, go through I'm COVID just, with TikTok. I'm just trying to keep AEA alive. That's all. Fucking sell. <laughs> oh my god, bro. That was that was a good one. I give it to you. That I know. I know. My humor is so, quite also, perfect. <laughs> if you would have watched uh, Blood and Blood Out. Oh. You would have gotten the reference of Enrique's last video he posted on his main account. What for TikTok? Yeah, where Enrique had like a night stick in his, I don't want to say it, but sure, a night sure. stick in his, I'll and bleep, he was smiling it. about it. <laughs> I did like the, uh, I did like the Star Wars thing that you put up there. Me? Yeah, someone's you sent. It was in one of our chats here that someone sent the Star Wars version of oh, Blood and Blood yeah, Out. Yeah, it was me. I was like, yeah. oh, look at that! He's really trying to get me to watch this movie. I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's only been Just, three months. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Only three months. Only. No big deal. That's right. Yeah. Fuck it. It's a it's a fucking three hour movie. He's waiting three months to watch. That's right. I'm not waiting. He better at least watch an hour or more. <laughs> that's that's actually very good. That's very true. Could have done that. Could've yeah. Done honestly, if you start watching the three hour start. movies that are pretty good, Oppenheimer, I finally went to go see it in the fucking theater. Oh, cool. Pretty good flick. Yeah, it's quite fun. That sounds fun. It is a good. It's your stereotypical. Uh, what's the phrase I want to use? Summer war Oscar movie. Yeah. Even though there's really no war in the fucking thing, but yeah, it's yeah, only it's about like, you know. Jarhead, right? Yeah, I heard there's been some like sleepers, literal people sleeping at some sites. Yeah, what's let's that talk all about? about your account, bro. <laughs> I don't have anything of that on my account. Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, perfection. 100 percent perfection. Eric. Everything's running great over there. I appreciate the concern, guys, but uh, <laughs> not my story to share. But I'm sure Enrique has a similar account and a similar situation you could talk about. Isn't that right, Enrique? I do. It's the account that you're at. I heard about today. So apparently, in two shifts and back to back hours of each other, uh, we had one sleeper on the overnight and the come in get relieved and the guy's like hey here's my pillow it's your turn and the guy's like hold my beer <laughs> so hold my i was sleeping on the overnight shift blanket. and the first shift it was it was hilarious that is i am that... not going to confirm those false allegations <laughs> well you didn't have to you're busted he told me today well there you go you know a big shout out to legend nahe 99 also known <laughs> as i feel best guy in the world literally yeah. he's not paying me to say this he cannot promise me any compensation for this but man just a great guy this dude's hilarious so he, he's in my tiktok you know he's got enough followers to come live so I, I bring him up what we call in the box and he goes in there and says all that shit while nahe's on and nahe's just sending like the crying laughing faces and i can hear <laughs> nahe's laugh <laughs> <laughs> miles away absolutely so it was that was funny that's one thing like, I you miss got the job already, bro. You can stop kissing ass now. I really don't, to be honest with you. You know what? <laughs> I you don't just... have a job? No, you, I said I Are really you don't. or are you not collecting a paycheck? I'm working for my check. 
All right. Mm. Oh, so 100%. You Maybe last. No, not, not really. <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> Apparently, all my work means dick now, according to Cell. Acknowledged. Who said that? Cell, thank you. <laughs> you, you in, in so many words, you said that. But anyway. <laughs> I said fine. I don't care about your old boss. <laughs> no, 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 no. You said my metrics don't mean shit. The new metrics don't mean shit. And basically, these metrics don't mean shit. Let's, let's just pull a clip. Well, yeah, because no one reacts to it. All of it is just... What is it? It's just smoke. It's all smoke until Insert someone fucks clip. up. And then it's clear, and then it goes back to smoke. Insert clip from episode 13 where Sal's talking shit about the metrics. That's right, because I was number one. Yeah. I'm the only manager that collected the bonus. That's good enough for me. It's not going on that way. Anywho. Yeah. I am not worried about it. Them. I'm also, like I said, I'm grossly indifferent about what your ex-boss does now. I don't have an ex-boss. Okay. I have an ex-leader. An <laughs> ex <laughs> Mr. Supreme Leader. Mr. Supreme Leader. Mr. Supreme. <laughs> okay, that was really good. <laughs> that was that was a premium level reference that was quite funny. Perfectly executed. That was quite good. That movie was on Netflix recently. You got a you I got a legit it. full chuckle out of me on that one. And the last one wasn't when we started the fucking intro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm trying to think of some weird, not so many everyone sleeping at, at work story I have. Um, I had. An officer in their guard shack. They were solo for the guard shack. It happened over the weekend. They claimed that a bee got into the guard shack and they were swatting at anything that they could determine was a bee and they legit shattered a window in the process of, quote, swatting at that bee. Yo. And is this the client? No, no, this is the officer really openly time. telling me. Hey, no, 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 but at this, this client site. Oh, it like, was, yeah, it was, client. it was our, yes, it was our awesome. Of course. It was our course. awesome shared client, I guess, is the best way to put that. A That's shared great. client that we had. It, you didn't even have to say all that. I yeah. already knew it. I, so I, I, quality, man. I get told in the morning, to today, this morning, from the shift supervisor, hey, there's a window broken. I think I know who did it. I'm going to check with the cameras because the client came up to me and said, hey, why is that broken? And uh, I'll get back to you. Can you message them for me? Because I don't have their number. And I was like, sure. No one told me anything about, you know, property damage or whatever. So I send a very simple text message. Hey, so-and-so, I got a report about a broken window. Do you know anything about it? If not, it's cool. If you do, just hit me up with whatever you got. He comes back to me. Hey, yo, Sal. Bet. I got that info for you. A bee and a couple flies came into the guard shack. And I was trying to swat them. D-E-M. And uh, I missed. And I hit the window. And then I put a little cover over the window. So more bees didn't come in. I was like, well, why didn't you tell me? He goes, well, I told the person during pass down for the person who was relieving me. I figured that was cool. Okay, it's not cool, K-O-O. -O. Oh, no, he did C-O-O. -O. Let, me, let me give him some credit. C-O-O. -O. I think it's, it's got to be C-O-O. -O. Yeah, I, give, I got wrapped up in the story. But he goes, C-O-O, -O, it's cool. And I go, just tell me when stuff happens. That's all you got to do. Just tell me when stuff happens that's not regular. He's like, I bet, got you. All one word. I was like, well, now that I've done my daily dose of my brain hurts and I can't undo what just happened to me, I'm going to go back to my day now and try and figure out the rest of the problems that happened. So, yeah, he, he swatted. I mean, it was glass. It's not like it's, like, tempered or anything like that. It's just a sheet of glass for a window. So he was swatting so hard, <laughs> he just fucking backhanded a window and shattered it. No questions asked. Didn't hurt himself. 
Yeah, I mean that's I mean that's some strength right there, but like bro, it's a bee. You know what happens when bees sting you? Yeah, but he's not allergic. He just don't want to get stung. Okay. I'm like, just get stung. It don't really hurt that much. And then it's done. Oh, it's because if because if you if you kill a bee, right? If you end up squishing or kill a bee, the pheromones of that bee goes out and then they all come come for you. That's why I always tell my kids or like my my brother and stuff, I'm like, don't don't kill that bee. Like if you're in like a park or whatever, like don't kill the bee. Just like just, you know, take a little if you have like a little paper or something, just you know, give it a little whoosh, 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 you know, just wipe it away. It'll go fly away. It'll do its own thing. If you kill it, you're going to have the pheromones on your hand or the pheromones on your foot or whatever, you know, whatever it is that you squished it with. And then they're all just going to come out. You're just going to, you kill one, you're going to have like six others come at you. That's right. They're pack animals. Yeah, they're, they're pack mean. animals. <laughs> Nonetheless, I, I was like, that's how my day started. That was, that was 7 one on top of like getting an email that said, "Hey, you know, ten more of those retail sites are closing down. Good luck having those conversations." I was like, "Cool. Week to week is not real. <laughs> Who cares?" So all these, me, uh, all these people. Something. We finally got in there. That's oh yeah. It's just, it's just not fun. It was not a fun way to start the day. I got you. I got something that was. I don't. I wouldn't say fun because I don't like basking in anyone's misery. Mm -hmm. Um, but the call that I had, we have bi-weekly for that same client was mm -hmm. pretty entertaining. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What so, you saying to me, boy? <laughs> that yeah, was, right. that old, was awesome. Cowboy, like, ready for, to meet him high noon at the OK Corral. Like, that, that was entertaining, that call. I felt bad. Because mm -hmm. the, the, the person that was in the crosshairs, you know, is pretty okay guy. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's made some questionable decisions when it comes to work, but pretty okay guy overall. I like him personally, and I don't like seeing anyone like that, but that call was like, <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about people being belittled on a call from like their superiors? Now, this person who's belittling isn't our superior, but when it comes to that account, he kind of is. Yeah. And, and uh, Hancho. Yeah, no, it was it was bad. I've never seen with a client on a call someone just go off on his own company, you know, trying to show off for the client that you know he's in charge and he's got his finger on the pulse, which he doesn't. The guy's the guy's no. ready to just you know sail off into the sunset. Like get, get out of here with this shit. <laughs> what you talking it about, was, boy? <laughs> There's a legit response. It was. It, it was, was. It was scary. It was a reaction, like, what do? You, what did you just say to me, motherfucker? Like, let's meet at yeah. the fucking bar right now. Smash a fucking bottle. I've got a, a knife. Like that. That's how this. Like this. You could tell this dude gets like super drunk, super angry. And what was funny was no one from leadership was on the call. So <laughs> not on boss. The the boss's boss was on vacation, and uh, I had to make that phone call. Like, yo, the landmine just went off. Like, you better be prepared. Yeah. And sure enough, it, it went off. And uh, so the, my boss's boss was in the office today, and he asked me, like, what the fuck happened on that call? <laughs> yeah, like, let me hey, tell have you. A seat, have a seat and crack open a beer, bro, because yeah. this is about to be one. Oh, my God. I haven't heard a call like that in the longest time. That's probably the first time I've heard, like, upper, upper, upper management slam on somebody like that. Yeah, yeah. I've never been... Like I, I, I definitely can hear from like an officer, like a you know baseline person, to a boss, and it goes like, but never, upper management. That's a first for me. Yeah, it's a middle management, right? I mean, we yeah. consider middle management. Yeah, but um, still, like yeah. that was, uh, <laughs> it was a, it was, uh, yeah, for a minor. I mean, You're again, like, yeah, I heard already. Like I was on the call. I didn't even see you on the call because it was, it was so like entertaining that I wasn't even looking to see who the hell was on the call but as soon as it was done I had to talk to someone yeah and I jumped in quiet too oh I'm, like you always do you're, yeah you're the silent assassin because they keep inviting me to the thing that I'm not supposed to be a part of but I'm invited to it so yeah it's it was it was quite entertaining like I said I, I think it was super disrespectful the way he talked to someone based on like our other calls that we've had when we talked about bosses talking to their subordinates on a yeah. call but this thing was epic. Yeah, it was a whole nother level of uh, 
It's like, oh, fun. I, I, I've now witnessed upper, like our immediate upper management completely disregard another person that they that they think is cool like that. But wait, yeah, wait, wait to see what happens when he does what the uh, what the other recruiter did, and he just dips out. What are you gonna oh, do I then? Gonna I think it's gonna happen sooner rather than later. Yeah, I mean he's been he's been definitely more active about chatting about it. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's and like that you know only leads. To, yeah, yeah, that's right. That only leads to one thing. All right. Exits. Is that a left arm? Yeah, it is. Sorry, I'm like doing model stuff. Oh, shenanigans. Well, speaking of like tabletop games, how about our D and D at the office, man? Yeah, D and D has been really, really dope. I'm excited. It's going to be a fun time. Everyone's enthusiasm level is up there. People are actually coming up to me saying, hey, like, I feel bad that I might not be able to make it. Can uh, can I just, like, voice in? Or is there, like, can we do, a, like, a Teams thing? I was like, well, I mean, if you're driving, I'm not going to tell you, hey, you know, call us while you're driving. You don't need to get into a crash over D&D. &D. It's okay. Like, I have a good understanding of what your character is going to do. Like, just tell me what you'd like to do, and I can right. I can figure it out for you. Well, she's pretty excited about being on there, so she might she might surprise us and get there a little late, but at least you can start it off for her, and then she can jump on in. We'll see. I mean, I'm I'm pumped. I'm pumped for it either way. I think it's. I mean, it's definitely going to be fun. It's definitely going to be like you know, session number one. So everyone's going to be hypothetically excited and pumped and like, uh, what's it, enthused to just do D and D stuff. Well, it's good. It's going to be fun. The trailer you put together is fucking <laughs> You should really share that on the Discord. That fucking thing was epic. It's just splicing together a lot of drone no, footage. I'm just I get it. To me I, that's I like it, ooh, but, but for someone for someone that used to be into editing and hasn't been in a long time to I just appreciated what you did on that thing cuz I'm sure that was a lot of work. Yeah, it took about an hour. Maybe two. Really? Probably closer to two. Yeah, no. It was, it was just it was getting really back into the. It's just it was definitely getting back into the swing of. Oh, cool! That's how you put that together. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I remember those functions, and it's like it all starts kind of swimming back into my head. I'm like, oh yeah, I can do Control Alt S, and that'll get me like that'll just speed up what I was trying to do before. Yeah, no, it was it was a good thing. I was pretty impressed by it. How the hell can I do this? Let's do another X. Well, thank you. I do appreciate. I do appreciate the good vibes. I mean, I'm excited right. for Friday. It's going to be a good time. We're going to have a blast. Everything will be cool. Should we go live on Discord? For what? For that? No, not yeah. everyone's there. You can't take advantage of it. Uh, true. Okay. Yeah, if we're going to do like, if we're going to make a hoopla out of it, like at least have all the players there on time. Yeah. Well, or late. Late would be good though, right, for the show? Yeah. Well, oh yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I absolutely didn't think of that. I was like, I don't associate being tardy for D and D with work. How dare you? How dare you be How late for you? D and D? Late for D and D? Do you have no self control? <laughs> I don't because I am Darktonius. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maximum dark, banker by day, assassin by night. That banker picture took me probably longer to find than the fucking one. I found <laughs> really, it looks so stock. I was like, he must have spent five seconds like Google. Hey, he's a modern day banker. Cool, I'm good. Well, it, and you so I, when I googled, like, I did exactly that. Like, modern day <laughs> like I, that was on like page four of Google. Like, no was, shit, like, you went that deep. Yeah, and no, it wasn't. I, I you ended up. Uh, you ended up even saying like, oh yeah, he's he's darker, obviously. I was like, so you didn't even find what you wanted to find? Yeah, no, it took a long time. But, but the the first ca character I sent you, like that was like only like maybe a couple scrolls down. Like it was mm -hmm. nice. Well, I mean, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. Can't give any no, spoilers I, out, but I know. Maybe yeah, I'll do like I mean, a I maybe I'll do like somewhere it's a little like video recap. And you can see me like retelling the story of what you guys did for that session or something. That'd be kind of cool. With the movie trailer voice, that would be awesome. Yeah, in a world, <laughs> <laughs> one man survived. You know, just something like that. 
<laughs> where toys take over. I'm trying to think of like the commercial for what was the uh, commercial? The trailer for um, was a small, small warriors, small small soldiers, small soldiers. Yeah, that oh, was that a, was a great movie. That was a great movie. I remember those toys were really hard to find back in the day too. Oh yeah, that was a great fucking movie. I think it came on the same time as uh, Indian in the Cupboard. No, I mean it's from that era of when we were watching movies for sure. Yeah, small soldier that Tommy Lee Jones and and what was the. Uh... Who's the other the? Um, I can't remember who played like the actual bad like military yeah. guy, or was Tommy Lee Jones the bad military Tommy guy? Tommy Lee Jones was the bad military guy. I'm trying so to then, who was the who was the like monster, the like the yeah. leader monster or whatever? Yeah. Shit, <laughs> I can't remember. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so question completely unrelated. What is more intimidating? Someone with the face of a rhino or the face of a elephant. If they were charging at you. I mean the rhino. The rhino is more intimidating. Are they equal size? Are they equal size? Yeah, they're they're just, let's say it's a let's say it's like a ten foot tall, heavily armored, covered in the blood of its enemies, uh, super soldier charging at you with an axe the size of me. And he has either a rhino face or an elephant face. What would freak you out rhino. more? <laughs> the rhino got to be. Cause... All right, I'll go with the rhino. Yeah, no, it's got to be the rhino. It's just more bone for me to paint. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <laughs> the difference between it's, bone and skin. It's definitely, it's definitely fucking rhino with the with the fucking horns. I'm trying to figure out. They, they have like a, a flamethrower. It's supposed to be, like, super gigantic. Again, like, none of this really matters in the game. It's all aesthetics. But I'm like, hmm, do I want to give this dude a flamethrower or, like, a cannon that's essentially, like, <laughs> like a helicopter minigun that he holds in one arm? So I'm like, ah, that, awesome. that, that looks pretty awesome. dope. Yeah, I'll try one of those. Warhammer game? Yeah, it's for the Warhammer stuff, yeah. Nice. Definitely send me a picture of that. Let's see what that looks like at the end. Yeah, we have the... Um, the last week of the games is coming up. <laughs> the games is coming up for. I think this is actually the last week, so I have to do. I have to be out there by Friday to get the last round in. And I was like, this "Oh Friday? shit!" I, yeah, this upcoming like this is the this is the last week for the two week period for the for the last mission or whatever. I was what like, oh. to be there, right? "Oh, I don't know." Whenever I set it up with the, my opponent, who I haven't reached out to yet, we were talking trash in the beginning, and then neither of us have talked to each other since. I was like. At least a half a week ago. That's funny. I was like, oh yeah, I absolutely forgot because Ren Fair and life, etc. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like, dang, my bad. I'll message him tomorrow morning during our WFM and try and figure it out. That's funny. That was uh, the same guy that we uh, went and saw you, right? Uh, he was there, but it's a, it's uh, he wasn't the guy I was playing. Oh, okay. Same location though, so. Yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, it's like in the final battle there's like more points so you can you can put more like, you know, units or models and stuff like that. I was like, oh god, I made a list and I forgot to build it. I should probably build it and paint it really fast. So I got like three days to put all this together. On top of like finalizing prep for Friday and yeah. <laughs> doing like, that. A, a lot of hobby stuff started picking up because I scheduled myself poorly. But that's all me makes it exciting though you know, a lot of yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun it's, yeah. it's a nice way to distract i overstaffed for a lot of the overnight shifts so i was like cool don't gotta worry about that hypothetically <laughs> like it's a four-person site and i put seven people there i go for the love of god if i still am short after that uh, I, I don't even know where to begin shout so, out like, to our guy beckham who came back refreshed off his vacation hell yeah Welcome yeah. back! Well, welcome back to uh, welcome back to the chaos. Yeah, he's an avid listener. He came back with his diamond cutters all out and prime. Oh today. come on, man! We don't need to rob a bank. <laughs> we don't need to Ocean Thirteen Beckham as the guy. He's our cutter. I feel like he'd be more Ocean's Twelve. I felt like that was more where they were cutting diamonds out. Oh, that's true. They were. Well, I mean, but Ocean's well, Ocean's Thirteen. Oh, they did have all those diamonds. They did have that giant. It's like yeah. that that necklace. Kind of yeah. like stand that had like six or seven of them on there. True, I mean, that means that means he has to <laughs> that means he has to uh, distract the old lady or whatever. 
Is he's got to put the pheromones on his. He's got to do. He's got. What do they call it? The mule or the kick or something like that. The nose, right? Yeah. Well, the nose was him doing the. No, they called it the Brody. The Brody. Because he had that that huge Adrian Brody nose. What did they call that? The like aroma. Oh, that's very frustrating. <laughs> I can't remember that. It reminds me of uh, Anchorman where he's like, he puts on the sex panther or whatever, and he's like, yeah. made with four chunks of panther. Yeah. He's like, 50% of the time it works every time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They call it the Gilroy? That doesn't sound right. Gilroy doesn't sound right. Mm, I that don't know. The FBI agent was uh, Matt Damon's dad. Yeah, it was his dad. Him. Don't tell mom yeah. about this. <laughs> Gave him back the nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like he pinky hands it to him, like just his little fingertips are holding it, wiggling it around. Oh, oh man. man, that was very frustrating. Because now the internet is telling me that it's the Gilroy, but I know that's not. It might be the Gilroy. I thought it was something like the mule kick, like it was something about an animal. Special agent sent that Linus put on his neck to seduce Abigail is noted in the title card as the Gilroy. This is an in-joke on Tony Gilroy, who wrote the screenplays for Born Identity, uh, pretty much all the Born movies that had Matt Damon in it. So they literally named something after the guy that wrote the Born Identity movies as a joke to the guy? That's awesome. Those dudes are like... But they're all like pranky with one another, so that makes... That, that, that checks out, I guess, is the phrase. Goodness. The Gilroy. So let's switch into some topics here, Sal. Yeah, let's 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 do this, this okay? Topic, We're gonna. St- I, I want to start with the nasty one. All right. Which is the nasty one? Is a hot dog a sandwich? Oh, it's for sure a sandwich. It is not a sandwich. What do you mean? It's, does it have bread and does it have meat? No, that is not the minimum requirement for a sandwich. What's your minimum required for for a sandwich? You need to have at least two pieces of bread. No. Oh, yes, no. it's a two uh, bread uh, slice uh, minimum. No, stop. You Hold can, on. So you're saying a sub uh, is not a sandwich? No, a hot, hot sub dog. is still sliced in half. That still counts as two. What if you don't slice it in half? What if you just cut, you know, carve off no, the middle? No, we're not doing this what if stuff. It's no, you know that it. you know that it's two it. slices. You know that it's bread and meat. That's the definition of a sandwich. No, bread no and meat. sir. That's what, right. What See where you stand. If you're gonna use that, how does a French roll play out? The same way. What do you mean? Wasn't a French French roll's cut in half though? Right. That's what we're saying. It's like so. So the problem is with that is it's like a similar bun, man. So in a way it is, but then again it's not. I don't understand. Like like today for lunch, okay, ham and cheese on a French roll. What's replacing me from just saying I want a hot dog in there? Common sense. It would still be a sandwich. <laughs> like you guys are, I can't pick a side right now. Honestly, like it, it's fucked up. I'm saying yeah. it's not a sandwich. Okay. It is a hundred percent. You eat, first of all, it's a two two bread slice yeah, minimum. All, okay. No, let me let me. Can I can I take a can I take a stance? I'm allowed to take a stance. Don't tell me it's a two bread minimum on your position, and I'm telling you it's a one bread on my position. You can't be little. Well, let me let me tell my stance. You get mad at me for being Swedish about this, and I finally got some passion here, and you just shut me down. Hold on, I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna mute. Yeah, good, good, good. Two mutes. I'm not bashing C about being muted. Anyway, sandwich, two bread, two slice minimum. Okay, the meat goes in there. Most sandwich meat that's not steak is sliced sliced sandwich meat sliced stop it go back on mute sliced sandwich meat i saw him do it sliced cheeses lettuce is usually the same for the most part but like no one really puts lettuce on a hot dog go back on mute go back on mute shut the fuck up go back on mute okay sliced uh uh meat sliced cheese most of the condiments are universal. You can put ketchup on something. You can put mustard on something. You can put relish on something. You can put... Well, even the pickles are different because you can't put a full-ass pickle in a sandwich. Stay on okay. mute. Go back on mute. No, see, you're good. No, go back on mute. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. I have not stepped down from my milk carton. Thank you, see. 
That's a good girl. <laughs> Thank you, Z. You Go back on mute. You. You Go back on mute, me? Henry. Go back on mute. Don't make me do this. Yeah. Henry. <laughs> Don't make me Henry. do this. <laughs> so he's anyway right <laughs> he's on fire bro i can feel it from here so <laughs> so okay that's my thing two breads two bread slices sliced meat sliced two cheese two, stop two, it two what stop two it then to use then okay condiments oh. are universal <laughs> and the uh, the other key that brings this circle to a full circle, the lock at the top of the circle, is you most likely eat a sandwich with two fucking hands. You're not going to eat a hot dog with two hands unless you're trying to make it look like corn the long way. You ain't eating two hands for a sandwich, Sal. Why you you hold the sandwich? What burger do you not eat with both hands? You're so mad, Enrique. Are you a fucking moron? <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna consider you it? little piece of shit? You fuck shit. I can say that here. Oh, 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 I'll put in. I'll put in a noise. I'll put in a noise. Don't put a fucking noise. I'm Don't putting you in a noise. noise. I'm Don't putting you in like one of those like. He needs to know what a fucking moron. I got your fucking moron. Those clown hammers where it's like hee hee. I'll put one of those in there. Uh you guys eat your sandwiches with two hands? I'm saying that it is more stereotypical to eat a sandwich with two hands than a hot dog with two hands. Can you at least agree to that? SFC, do you eat your fucking sandwiches with two hands? I could. No, but you don't. But I normally do. You eat a burger with two hands. How do you not eat a burger with two hands? With us dads. I've like seen, humans? I've seen human today. <laughs> he ate that cheeseburger with two hands on my party. Two hands. Hands. Who? I was sitting next to you when I did it. What was this? At C's party. You had one hand on the burger. Two hands. Yes. Two hand. two capital C's, bro, with a sandwich in between and you chomp chomp it. No, you were distracted by like us saying shit that we were saying. You were distracted. Yeah, and free. Yeah. Uh, you might <laughs> finish I can make my argument. That's what I made know. my pace. Two slices of bread. Sliced meat, sliced cheese, condiment are indifferent. I'm going to concede the condiments. Two-hand eating, more stereotypically than not. You two-hand eat a hot dog, it might as well be corn the long way, and you know that. I will go on mute now. All right, so let me let me go ahead and, and just shut this guy up, because uh, Sal is my, <laughs> my buddy, and I love him to death, and I've given him fucking compliment after compliment, but he has gone too fucking far on this topic. All you need for a sandwich is bread and fucking meat. That is it. Condiments, pickles, whatever, all this other bullshit he's saying is all just bullshit. At the end of the day, you need meat, you need bread. That's it. Guess what a hot dog has? It has fucking meat and it has bread. If you want to eat it with two fucking hands, there's a goddamn foot long. Have at it. Eat that motherfucker in public and eat it the long way, Sal. Don't, don't come with this bullshit. It's very basic. You're really trying to complicate something, and it's just not complicated. Meat, bread, mouth, digest, chew the motherfucker. Okay? It's a fucking sandwich. End of the day, it's a goddamn sandwich. Everyone that's listening to this episode right now, put it in the comments. Is it a fucking sandwich or is it not? It's a hot dog. It's one meat, one bread. That's all you need. You know how I make ham sandwiches with just one slice of bread. Sometimes you can't afford the other side, Sal. I don't know if you've ever had tough times, buddy, but sometimes you just need to have a welfare fucking sandwich, and that's one slice of bread and some meat. That's it. Case closed. Move on to the next fucking topic. Am I allowed to respond? You can fucking respond, but you get 10 seconds because I'm, I'm tired of hearing your bullshit. Your financial income is not my problem. Loaves are like two dollars a piece. Okay, number two, you offered no. Number two, you offered no alternative facts. You just said bread and meat. You gave me nothing. Nothing. Look, at, I gave examples. I gave variants. I gave insight, and you're just like, bro, it's just bread and it's just bread and meat. One piece of bread, is it not? What is what not? Sub sandwiches are they not one piece of bread fucking gutted out in the middle? Sliced in half. No, who slices them in half? I don't slice them in half. Do you? I go to fucking Subway. They don't slice the fucking bread in half. They cut it open and gut it out. 
Get all the inside out and fucking stuff it with me. Sliced. They gotta slice they it. They always slice it in half every they time. Slice, no, Thank they you. slice it to make it into two pieces, two sandwiches, but it's one piece of continuous bread. But we're talking about subs. We're not talking about sandwiches. That's different. We're saying that a sub is not a sandwich? A sub is literally a different type of sandwich, sandwich, but it's not a basic sandwich. Not a sandwich shop? It's a subsidiary of a sandwich. It's different. Subsidiary. It's like the difference between I. It's like the difference between I'm speaking Spanish and I'm speaking Mexican. It's two very different dialects that have different, you know, setups to it. Different. It's the difference between speaking Italian and speaking Sicilian. It's all the same, but it's a little different. So it's not, so it's different. So I'm eating ravioli, right? Chef Borardi out of a can. I take the fucking Sorry ravioli, put them into a piece of bread. I fold the bread in half. It's a fucking ravioli sandwich. No, that it's sounds... Like, first of all, that doesn't sound like anything. And that's it fucking disgusting. Delicious. It sounds fucking Chef delicious. Chef Borardi is disgusting. Just fucking yeah. buy actual ravioli like a normal human. It's literally 50 it's cents more. Human, and Sal. That is normal. I'm not, I'm not Norman. I'm not Sicilian. You don't That's need like to be Sicilian to understand that Chef Boyardee is Mexican shit. Food. You can't. You can, that doesn't mean it, it's still shit. I openly admit the Taco Bell is awful. Well, you can't even admit. Butter. You can't even admit All that right. it's awful because you're so hard headed. I like ravioli. No, you don't like, like ravioli. Like you like party. shit ravioli. Get better ravioli. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move on to our next topic. What is our next topic? Let's take a look. How about Pepsi versus Cola? That should calm us all down, right? Said no one ever. Wash this one down. Yes. What I don't even know where I stand. <laughs> I'm so wrapped up in the previous one. I guess I, did we did we try and figure out like how far the 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 stretch of these two companies go? Because they involve a lot of different like brands, right? Because we said that who had Coke has Seagrams for ginger ale, and I think Pepsi has Schweppes, right? Yep. And then Coke has Dr. Pepper, and Pepsi has Barks? Sorry. Or is Barks its own thing? We learned that Barks was its own thing that plays both sides or something like that. I can't remember. Oh, man. Didn't we write this all down, too? We were trying to figure it out. We had a whole fucking... We had tabs up. The problem was we had this ready for another episode, and all of a sudden... You know, we, we got on a tangent. Yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> a tangent didn't get to it. I know that I wrote it here. I know I wrote it. And by here, I mean on my laptop, not like uh, <laughs> not like at my house. I just remember having like three or four tabs open and having all of like the products on there. And it was, it was endless. Yeah, and I did. I, like I like went over to Pepsi, right? I went, I went aggressively to the paint with, with like what I was writing down. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, okay. So my gut shot, even if we agree or disagree, my my when we said when I said Coke free Pepsi, my brain went straight to Cherry Pepsi, straight to you Cherry know what? Pepsi. I like Cherry Coke better. So look, I'm a Pepsi man overall, mm-hmm. but I like Cherry Coke more than I like Cherry Pepsi. Yeah, I think it's because it has more sugar, like per can. And I guess that was another thing we were trying to figure out. Which one had more glass like containers? Because I think Coke Coke has like that cane sugar thing, like, oh yeah, this is natural sugar compared to regular sugar or whatever. But they have like the glass bottles and I don't think Pepsi has like you can take it off the shelf glass bottles. Oh well, they do. They do? Like, okay. They're, yeah, they're in like like the Spanish, like Mexican little like supermarkets. Oh right, right. like so, the like the foreign lane or whatever it is. Like oh yeah, we got a lot of beans in this be aisle one. because white people don't like beans or some stupid no, shit. It's got, it's got to be the full like they fucking they sell like cooked food in the back. Like it, it's got to be the full Mexican. You hear the Mexican music blaring on the on the speakers. Like they talk Spanish at the registers. Oh, I'm at the wrong. I'm at the wrong section. (laughs) Clearly going to the wrong spot. uh, Cedar Lake, right there. Yeah, yeah. uh, yeah, Was it interesting? So that little section there, there's that uh, Lomelli's. So that would be one of them where they would sell like glass bottle Pepsi, which is is phenomenal. I love anything glass bottle. Glass bottle will immediately make whatever you're drinking better. Period. Oh, absolutely. And I don't. And that goes like for beer. 
and uh, like everything. I don't know what it is about glass bottles or like you give me a chilled mug, like a full on chilled mug, that yes. that'll make anything taste better as well. Absolutely. I made I, I like made the stupid I made the stupid mistake of those. Uh, I think I talked about it before. <laughs> I got those lemonades from Menards, the Calypsos or whatever they're called. Yeah. yeah I say yeah, it's yeah. from Menards, but they're I mean they they're hypothetically everywhere, but. I got one of those and I put it in my, put it in my freezer and forgot about it. And then like 20 minutes later, I heard this pap. I was like, "Oh no, the fucking lemonade!" Oh, I felt so bad. I was like, "There's glass all over my ice cream. What the fuck am I supposed to do?" When that fucking glass breaks inside the freezer, it's the worst. Oh, it's it gets all over my it gets all over my egos. It's all over my ice cream. It's a complete lose-lose. I have to dump out so much. I'm like, I can't see anything because the interior is white and I get like this, you know, cloud of, of uh, snow coming at me. I'm like, I can't reach in here and just pull stuff out. I'm going to rip my hands open. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it just sucks. Cool. When, you, when, when you're when you dumb and you forget things, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's the worst. But so, I mean, you're coked in on Pepsi? Is that what we're... Coming yeah, through. well, I mean, you said Pepsi. I said cherry sweet. Pepsi, but it does have higher sugar. So I guess the sale today would go with whatever is lower sugar. I probably I grab more zero sugar cokes. I was just going to than ask Pepsi's. That. Yeah, so so what are we doing zero? If everything's equal and it's not a sugar thing, so you're more a Coke zero than a Pepsi zero. Yeah, I think I'm more Coke zero only because my dad also buys that often as his like this is my sweet drink that yeah. I that I do. Aside from, I can't remember the name of those like real thin bottles that are like Jewel brand. Like here's a flavor. It's a it's like a fizzy not a fizzy drink but whatever they call it. Um, like a seltzer drink that's flavored. But it's a tro. It's like you know, fifty cents a bottle. It's atrocious. You're pretty much just drinking that so you can shit two hours later. It's it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> and I'm like, why do you keep drinking that and then complain about? Oh man, it makes my stomach upset. But I'm like, just get different seltzer water. And stop drinking this. Well, you know what? You know what's funny or it was pretty good was back in the day. Was going to Aldi and buying the Aldi brand cola, grape, or <laughs> I remember the Jewel brand like Mister Thunder or whatever. Oh, <laughs> it's like in the silver. It's just a silver can, and the only color on there is the name of the the like off brand name that they gave it, Doctor Thunder. Yeah. I'm like, what? What is happening? Oh my God, the, those Classics. those generic brands were hilarious. It was almost like buying cereal in the bags. Oh no, I could never do that. Well, I mean, I guess I could do that now because I'm not worried about sugar. But I'm like, if you're gonna give me cereal, give me sugary cereal. I do a lot of like oat cereal now, like those crunchified. Like they're all in like I can't think. Of, I can't even begin to explain it because I hate it. But I watch my kids eating Fruit Loops at like in the little cup of like here here's a little serving of some fruit loops and i'm like yeah man f you give me that <laughs> like, i want that back i just i just want to feel the high one more time in rk <laughs> just want the high of c cereal sugar to come back at me please yeah. <laughs> it's funny that i can see you giving them side eye and and I'll call them morons because they're enjoying cereal. Oh, no, I'm just going to, like, shoulder shrug my kid into the couch and, like, take the cereal from him, <laughs> crouch in a corner and, like, eat it like a crack addict. <laughs> and so just, like, dump the box in kid, my mouth or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, when your kids get shit, like, like, you can't eat or whatever, and then they're not done with it, and they're like, oh, I'm done, and then you get to eat, like, their crumbs, and you just feel like... No, I can't even do... I, I don't even do that. I try I try very hard to be very diligent about doing this the right way. But uh, it's it's tough. I mean, I have my own ways that I cheat, because there's a lot of, like, sugar-free, zero-sugar, um, like, energy drinks and stuff. So, like, that's how, I, that's how I get my fix in. But it's, like, it's just a lot of fruit. So as long as I can trick my brain into handling a lot of fruit, like grapes or nectarines or whatever, like mangoes and stuff, like, okay, cool. That's, that's how I'll stay away from a lot of the dry food, like chips or pretzels or, 
you know, like the the high sugar cereal. I got to be real careful with bread because I'm a crazy. Obviously, <laughs> based yeah. on our last conversation, I'm a crazy <laughs> bread guy. Like I was one of those yeah. guys where it's like, okay, let's go to the movie. Let's see. Let's see a movie. And like my friends would buy, you know, the bucket of popcorn and candy, and I get Twizzlers. And like in my shirt is just a fucking loaf of bread, and I sit through a movie and eat like half a loaf of bread or the full really? loaf without question. Bread? Yeah, man, you gotta get. You have to get like Hawaiian sliced bread is the softest bread. It's sweet. It goes perfect. I'm like, I'm not dipping it in nothing. So it's just that. And if I don't have the bread on me, I'll just double down on two sets of pretzels back when I could be fat and not worry about it. <laughs> but it was just a good, it was great. It was great. I was That's ridiculous. Hilarious. It was great. Oh, I miss it. <laughs> just crying to myself. <laughs> You've got like the crying Jordan fish right oh, now. Oh, it's You're full like, on, on dude. Wolverine. Full on. Wolverine. Yeah, Man. it's Wolverine and it's just like pictures of junk food. <laughs> just a slideshow of just junk food and you're just like touching the frame. Like, maybe we'll go back to when I'm ready to like, when I'm ready to finally like call it quits when I'm a 90 to 110. I'll just go crazy on sugar food for like two days. Just wake up in my bed with just like Skittles like all over the spice or something. Like I'm gonna go out in the most sugar intense coma ever. Like that's that's how I want to die. Don't don't give me anything. Just don't give me morphine to fucking make yeah. me feel comfortable. Just give me yeah. the fucking sugar. Hook and then that shit up. and then freeze my ass so you can solve all this, and then we'll do it all over again. We'll be right next to Walt Disney. Yeah, right next to Walt Disney and John Connor and like all the uh, fucking Austin Powers. Just throw me in the tubes. I'm ready. You're and you're just holding your private. Parts. Yeah, just Demolition Man and Wesley Snipes. Like I'm ready. Put me in the cubes. Put put Sal right in the cube. Your caricature yeah. in a fucking cube would be hilarious. That's right. I'll be. I'll uh, give me the characteristics of like knitting and ninja powers or whatever. Just like they did it in Demolition Man. Dude, this came out. This guy came out as a full-on terrorist, and all I could do is knit this fucking sweater. Oh, that is hilarious. Maybe I'll watch that movie tonight. That is <sighs> so yeah, I would say that <laughs> to go back to our topic <laughs> is that it's probably leaning more towards Coke than Pepsi, for sure. And then you're like that go-to Pepsi guy. Yeah, but like I said, there's some Coke products where I'm like, I fuck with them, but but Pepsi by the core. Like, if I had a choice between just just Pepsi, Coke, out of the fridge, ice cold in a can, it's Pepsi. Yeah. You know what? You know why I lean towards Coke now that I think about it a little bit more? It's only the Coke machines that have that, like, if you go to a Wendy's or whatever, that's like, here's our 500 flavors. Freestyle is nice. Yeah, I love that a lot. You got to do, like, my go-to is that... You do a zero sugar grape Fanta, zero sugar grape Sprite, and zero sugar grape Coke, and you do the trifecta, and it tastes like a fucking Jolly Rancher. It's awesome. No way. I got to try that. Oh, it's so fattening and amazing. You know, on, that, on that fucking freestyle machine, my go-to is, is hilarious. It is grape high C. Grape high C? Just on its own? Just on its own, just grape high C. Wow. Any chance I get, like, I, it's not a normal thing to get, right? Like, McDonald's has orange. Most places have either orange or fruit punch. The grape is, like, my go-to. If they have a freestyle machine, fuck all the sodas and all that. Mm -hmm. Give me that grape high C. Wow, interesting. See, I do, I have a lot of, like, go-to combos. Like, that grape one is one of mine. I do something where I take uh, a Fanta Lime with a little bit of strawberry Fanta. But it can't be strawberry zero Fanta because those taste very different. Yeah, okay. But strawberry Fanta, just because you, and you can't do a lot. You have to do like maybe, you know, five, 10%, just like the lid essentially. And then a zero lime, and it tastes like a strawberry daiquiri. It's crazy. I got, see, I don't ever mix drinks there. Like, oh, I, yeah. I don't know why I've never thought of mixing drinks. Mm -hmm. I'm just not, I'm not a big mixer of anything. And now that you're saying that, I might have to try mixing some drinks. Yeah, there's some like, good ones. My kids go crazy with the ices. They mix them up all fucking day. Oh, when they before. swirl it, that's that's yeah. like that's like God's finger. Like you know, he's just giving me a blessing right there. I used to yeah, do. You know, we talked about iced tea last time. I remember that I'm not like a big yeah. iced tea guy. No, but really. if you do like if you do Mr. Pib, which is a Coke thing, yeah. and Minute Maid Light, that tastes yeah. like 
lemonade. What is the the Palmer, the lemonade and iced tea or whatever? Oh, the Arnold Palmer, yeah. yeah. That's another good. See, I'm all about the combos. For whatever reason, I can figure out the combos. But like, you just give me a Arnold Palmer, like straight out of the Arizona, you know, the fucking cans that are like as big as my forearm or whatever. I'm like, no, I'm no, thank you. There's another one that I do where you take again. It's Fanta because Fanta's like awesome. <laughs> you take Fanta Peach and do Fanta Orange, and then you there's have to. Fanta yeah, there's a Fanta Peach, bro. It's amazing. So you do a Fanta Peach. A Where font- are you going? Because I've never seen Fanta Zero. It's at Wendy's. Never- They're all there. It's only because it's the Wendy's thing that it gives you all these options. But like, you have to like, it. Yo, you gotta order Fanta that. Peach. You gotta order. This. So it's Fanta Peach with Fanta Orange, and then you just do a little, pssst, you know, just one shot, pssst, just one little button press of Fanta Cherry, and it's like, yeah. it's amazing, Except dude. Friday, you're at the office, right? Obviously, we're gonna. Yeah, I will be there. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to lunch before we start everything. Let's go. Let's go to Wendy's. We're gonna Wendy's and we're gonna get just three giant. Like, we're gonna get six drinks, and say, yeah. choose. Yeah. No questions asked. Yes. Choose. <laughs> just I'm enjoy. Have it. You mix them. I'm gonna have you mix them. I'm gonna be blindfolded and I'm gonna fucking choose which one's the best. Oh, one. dude. We might as well just not play D and D. That's how good it's gonna be, dude. <laughs> well, we gotta bring snacks and food to that. I mean, a four-hour session is gonna be a while. We were we were dying if it was Well, with for, one uh, less person it might go a little faster, but yeah, yeah, we'll have to like prep to pretty yeah. much be ready for it. Yeah, yeah, I'll pick up snacks. We'll go we'll go to Wendy's, we'll do the drink thing and then we'll go and get some snacks. I'll I'll, I'll take up I'll pay for that and then we'll we'll come back. We definitely have to do Wendy's excuse me, Wendy's last cuz we I don't want that ice manipulating our gorgeous drinks. So Oh, we're doing Wendy's right there at We're not we're sitting in. We're dining in. Oh, okay. No, I got you. All right. Yeah, so we'll dine in. That way, there's nothing diluted with it. The the mm-hmm. ice isn't fucking up the the chemistry yeah. that you've created. Yeah, have it fresh. A mad scientist. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, right. Gotta have dude. it fresh, still popping, still all yeah. the carbonation yeah. popping. My creativity is not limited to fantasy environments. I do, in fact, I make custom coke drinks. <laughs> so we're we're at lunch, Sal and I, right? And I'm I am a big. I don't fucking try anything. Right? <laughs> and we're sitting there, and the it's guy convinced me to get fucking cream of tortilla soup. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I treated you like a child. Like a fucking child. It was hilarious. He's so like, oh, I don't want there. it. <laughs> no, so we're sitting there, and I'm straight acting like my kid Noah, right? Like, I'm not I'm not eating this shit. Like, as soon as I opened it, I was like, this does shit doesn't look good. Sal doesn't even look up. He's just like, bro, come on. You got to try that. Like, it, it's good. I'm like, no, no, no. He's like, have you ever tasted it? And I'm like, no. So now I sound like I'm fucking talking to my kids. <laughs> he's talking. I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm just eating my sandwich. I got my chips, my fucking soda, whatever. And he's like, all right, man. If you try it, I'll give you a special weapon in D&D. Yeah, I was like, you take three spoonfuls, and I'll give you I'll give you a magical weapon. Yeah, he said, don't give me no little fucking spoonful. I need three Yeah, giant three adult-sized size. spoonfuls. Don't sip at that shit. You dump your spoon in there, and you pull it up. No so questions head, asked, and you drink that head, shit. Don't drink. Head, eat that shit. To the side, I was like, Arr. Yeah, yeah and, he, and he was just like, wow, you're going to hit me with that? You're going to manipulate me with D&D before we even start? <laughs> yeah, no, it, it worked. Yeah, well, yeah, it worked. Still didn't fucking eat the that. thing, though. I need that in my life, so it, it worked. And I tried the first one, and I was like, oh, you know, this isn't bad. So I gave him a fist pound. And I don't think he understood why I fist pounded him. No, I was just happy that you were eating. I was just a proud papa that you were eating. Yeah. So then I start getting to the second and third ones, and then I start tasting the fucking full like pepper taste of the motherfucker. And I said, "This is disgusting. I'm not eating it." Yeah, I did. I did out of the corner of my eye, uh, experience a wince. I was like, "Oh, this weapon better be worth it." (laughs) I was like, "This motherfucking weapon better be something fucking nice." Ah, oh, it's so funny. That was a great. That was a great little moment for me. Small victories. That was a nice moment. Just you and I sitting in eating somewhere. And then what was the soup for today? The same soup. Same fucking. Soup. I was like, hey man, you want to be more bites? Good. I'm fucking good. We're it's good. It's on sale. I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Free ninety nine. Yeah. Free ninety nine. Yeah. No, I'm good. They, you know what happened was not enough people ordered it last week, so it's the same fucking soup from last week. That's fine. They don't order the chicken. That's the same. I guarantee you it's the same damn chicken every fucking week. <laughs> I don't want to talk shit about them because they're like a great group of people. But, oh, uh, awesome. I mean, rotate your stock, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. Stop giving no, me the... the ice. Fuck that. 
fucking Sal makes some like, fucking straight Karen's Oh, ass. dude. Like, no, no there's no Karen. I wasn't mad about it. I went to the guy after he gave me the soup because I went to the machine and I was like, you know, I want to get some ice with my drink because the ice that we have in our, like, community, like our shared work kitchen is garbage and it tastes yeah. like I might as well piss in snow. It is. Like, it's it bad. Is. It's very bad. And uh, I was like, oh, man, you guys are all out of ice in your, like, you know, your fountain drink dispenser or whatever. I was like, could I just get, like, a small cup of ice? Would that be, is that okay with you guys? And he's like, oh, yeah, man, I got you, no problem. And he comes out with a fucking bowl, a big-ass salad bowl full of ice cubes. I'm like, bro, it's just for me. Like, no, no one, a... but I was like, no one else is even in line. Like, it's, <laughs> I, I, like, I really appreciate you. I'm like, hey, man, look at this ice. He's like, yeah, I got that, though. Yeah, I got that, bro. That's on me, that bro. Me. I got free soup last week because of you. Now I got I got a big old bowl of ice because of me. You, you just dropped your hand and said, okay, let the party continue. Yeah, if I had a mic, it would have been on the on the floor. I, I, I absolutely. That was, I, it was like a really cheesy, proud moment where I'm like, bro, they like me. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, part of the crew I'm now. Part of the team. I'm part of the crew now. Well, what was funny was when we had cut you in line that one time, and you're just like, oh, fuck me, I guess. Oh, you like, know that every time, yeah. I was really hoping today that those dudes that were standing there, I was like, oh, please be, like, just ready. Please be ready to be in line so that these two fucks can go stand at the front of the counter, which is clearly not the line. Yeah, right. Just and then, and then they're like, oh, no, man, we're still looking. I was like, fuck me, dude. <laughs> that's oh, and like, then Jason Lou, the other guy. Yeah, I'm like, that's like, like that's like three jokes just wasted yeah. <laughs> for nothing. Yep. yep, you were waiting too. You kept looking back. Wait, I did. Back. I stuttered a lot because I'm like, I know where I'm going every time I come to this place. I was like, please let them cut. Please let them cut. And then you did. And I was like, oh, can I say it? And he's like, oh, no, I'm still thinking, man, it's cool. Oh, fuck I you, asked, dude. Man, I'm polite. Go I back asked. to the other building, you piece of shit, talking about the other two guys that were standing there. I'm like, don't you know that I'm supposed to have a joke? person not associated with me at all right yeah what the fuck? that's hilarious uh, too good well what are we at let me take a look i think even even with uh interruptions and joke fest yeah we're just past an hour again cool and we stayed on we did three topics no we did two topics today we missed one i gotta put that one back in back in the uh back in the chamber there to get ready for next time well, it was nice having Cecilio really like laughing and engaging. Yes. He still hit us with his monotone stuff, but we appreciate every time he pop in. Don't do he that. He always to him. Gets up early because as he wakes up early, so whatever. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does have to wake up quite early. Uh, um, yeah. No different than what we used to do, but it's cool. Now it's different. It it's a different type of early. We appreciate him coming in with his sandwich, uh, even though he didn't know what what you know what he was on. To yeah, he with. took the Sweden post today. Yes. He was like, you know, I couldn't really decide which way I want to do it. I was like, that's because you don't understand what a sandwich is. You know who understands? I do. No. No. Yeah, you really don't eat a burger with two hands? Like if you had no. if you had a big no. ass burger, you just one handed? One hand. Dude, you can't one hand like some like I'm talking about big burger. You don't have big ass hands, bro. Do you ten and two the steer? I said ten and six. Ten and two. <laughs> no, I ten and six the burger. Yeah. <laughs> I do I ten and two the steering wheel. Now we're talking about two different things, man. Because that's a big oh, ass man. circle. Oh, man. That's Come a big on. ass circle. You can't admit. First you know of all, what? find me a sandwich everything, that. Everything is apples, the oranges, that. But it's all fucking fruit. Find me a sandwich that's as big as your fucking steering wheel, bro. <laughs> and then tell me that you're gonna eat that motherfucker with one hand. <laughs> Right on my pinky. Bro. Don't I lie that you would take a steering wheel size sandwich and you'd one hand it like a fucking like a pie. <laughs> you just hold it flat and just eat it that way. That's exactly how I do it. <laughs> no. Just no. to prove a point, I would. I'm so fucking hard headed. Just to prove a point, I'd eat that motherfucker one hand. There are so many things we need to do. Yes. First There's one corn. Gonna there's going to be Wendy's sodas, foot-long hot dogs, because that got brought up. There's going to be... You're going to have to eat a pizza not sliced in any direction. Just eat it straight flat. I want to see that. Don't roll that shit up. You're not allowed to do that. Because you don't do that with sandwiches. You can't roll the sandwich up. Because <sighs> wraps aren't sandwiches. Wraps are wraps. It's different. I'll give you that because that's a tortilla. That's not bread. Yeah, but isn't know, tortilla bread, though? Like, right, hey, if that's what we're going to do? It's a fucking tortilla. Tortillas are not sandwiches. That's not bread. Yeah, but if we're if we're doing your logic, 
that the sub sand the sub bread is bread isn't a tortilla still bread no tortilla's not bread tortilla is bread it's all it's all flour and eggs it's all the same okay now you want to break it down to ingredients that's what i was saying though like it's all bread it's all coming from the same stuff it's all bread right you know what's to be continued what time is it <laughs> yeah, it's like we, we're restarting we're restarting a race and i'm not prepared to do that to do that venture Literally, next episode we record in a couple days we're going to continue this right here right here Right ridiculous here, tortilla, concepts of what a sandwich bread. is i gotta think of other ways to eat a sandwich wrong so that we can talk I'm about prepared. it i'm gonna be prepared with fucking different sandwiches that are just one piece one piece oh no that's yes. one punch <laughs> damn it your boy got me thinking about fucking anime all weekend i was trying to i didn't get a chance oh, to reply no. to him on the no, other one you guys talking i was like i don't this is all fucking french to me yeah all greek <laughs> Well, I guess with that being said, I was trying to think of a French sandwich, and I couldn't think of one fast enough. And then a, a Greek sandwich, the only thing that came to my head was a euro, but I'm pretty sure that's not Greek. Is that Greek? It is Greek. It is Greek? Okay, so we're good. Okay, so uh, he, ending on a high note of a good sandwich, a.k.a. Well, I guess it's not a sandwich, right? It's a euro. It's different. Yeah, that's right. different. <laughs> so any, ending on the high, good. yeah, ending on the high that pitas are good, period. That's a universal accepted thing. Pitas are just yeah. delicious, alone or with meat stuffed inside of it. Low phrasing. Uh, we'll say good night to everyone. Thank you for being our followers, subscribers, uh, whatever that thumbs up button is, all that good stuff. Yes. Uh, don't forget to catch us on YouTube, obviously. Catch us on Facebook. Catch us on Instagram. We've been posting a little bit more, so we're getting a little bit more traction out there, which is awesome. I think we're just shy of, like, 70 subscribers for YouTube, which is amazing. Yeah, well, like, that's, that's super cool. We really appreciate all that. We're getting a lot of good feedback for the episode. So, like, like I said, hit us up. If you want something funny to be said out there, tell us. Trust yeah, me. We'll yeah, say absolutely. funny shit. Don't worry. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we'll get into We'll find a way to disagree so that it's entertaining for everybody. <laughs> Trust me, we preemptively work out some of our topics sometimes because we're like, hey, man, I actually do like Pepsi. I kind of like Pepsi, too. Well, what if I were to tell you that Pepsi sucks and how do I, like, how do we react to that? Because that's how we did our hot dog thing. He's like, oh, exactly. man, you just need one slice of bread. I'm like, you're fucking dumb. Okay, that's enough yeah. for me. Let's go. I was like, I can I can go off that. I got the energy for it. I'm ready. Told me to mute my mic. I, no one tells me to mute my mic. <laughs> I didn't do that. C did that. <laughs> that was a good courtesy. That was a good, and I love the fact you're trying to jump back in real sneaky like you couldn't do it. <laughs> I was like, you stay the fuck, you go back over there, go back to your corner, I'm still talking. You can go on fucking mute, I'm not done talking. That's right, I put baby back in the corner, you give me another 30 seconds. <laughs> well, either way, enjoy the episode, everyone, we'll catch you on the flip side, and as always, stay classy. And I'm pretty sure Detroit has shit sandwiches too, fuck Detroit. <laughs>